Hey, welcome back. It's time for the weekly update. It's been a couple of weeks since the project got put on hold, but that period of time from late February when they finished up the hall planking and when the job got put on hold, I have a little bit of footage. During that period of time, they were starting to work on the sponsons, they were starting to work on the covering boards, and they were starting to strategize how the bulwarks on the main aft working deck were ultimately going to look. They were also fairing the hull. They were power planning and sanding that hull planking down to be just baby smooth. So let's follow along and see what the crew was up to just those days and weeks before the project got put on hold. I thought I'd start off this week with a tour of the building that the Western Flyer is currently housed in. As you enter through a side door, their boat will immediately appear on your left. Visitors are welcome during working hours to walk up a set of stairs directly in front of you and up onto a viewing mezzanine. You'll be looking at the starboard side of the boat and down onto the crew working. They'll often get 20 to 30 people a day that'll stop by just to get a good look at the boat. Once the planking installation has been completed, the loud and physically demanding and extremely dusty job of fairing the hull planking can begin. The first step is to knock off that edge that's between each hull plank. This is done with a long horizontal pass. The next step is to start using the power plane diagonally, one or two or three planks at a time, working your way up to longer and longer strokes. The last step in the hull fairing process is to transition to an 8 inch soft pad sander. First with 36 grit sandpaper and you work your way up to about 120 grit sandpaper. This is plenty smooth for the first coat of hull paint, particularly below the waterline. Remember in historic times all this work would have been done with a hand plane and a scraper. Once the hull fairing was done, which took the crew of five shipwrights just under two weeks, the next major step would be to install the sponsons and covering boards. The sponson is a large deck edge guard that runs nearly the entire length of the boat. In a smaller boat, this would be called a guard rail or maybe a rub rail. When we're talking about large commercial fishing vessels, we call it a sponson, and it's built up using multiple layers of wood, with the outermost layer being a hardwood like iron bark or purple heart. The sponson on the Western Flyer is made up using the exact same wood as the hull planking, built up using two layers of two and a quarter inch SIPO, with the outermost layer being a layer of one and three quarter inch purple heart. Now I'm done. I have a rough shape, I'm just curious to see what it looks like. Definitely not the right angle on there. Before any of this wood was permanently installed, all the joining surfaces were painted with red lead and a thin application of bedding compound was troweled on all those jointing surfaces. Red lead adds a layer of defense against rot and the bedding compound fills any small voids that could end up holding water over time. I just need to get enough people. I'm just not on the right schedule. Oh yeah? It's a pretty complex process to lay out a sponson. Maybe after this lockdown passes, I'll try to dive into it a little bit more in depth in an upcoming episode.
The last real work that was done just before the project was put on hold was the installation of the covering boards on the after working deck. The covering board timber is always sitting in water, either rainwater or saltwater spray, so we chose a highly rot resistant wood called a roco. The timbers are sawn or cut to the plan view shape of the deck, then fastened to the shear plank and onto the deck beam ends. And just like any of the sponson timbers, all the joining surfaces are coated in red lead and bedded down. Hey, that's it for this week's update on the Western Flyer restoration. And for those of you keeping track of time, you probably could tell that was way longer than two minutes. So I'm just going to give up on the two minute time mark and just say this is the weekly update. It takes as long as it takes to get the information out there. But before we take off, I want to give a shout out to Sean Kuman. Sean is the chief instructor at the Northwest School of Wooden Boat Building here in Hadlock, Washington. And he's part of a new series on Vimeo, not on YouTube, but on Vimeo called Understanding Wood Boat Construction. There's a $5 donation to the Northwest School of Wood Boat Building, but it's totally worth it for a short series that really dives into the construction of wood boats. And I'll put a link in the description box below so you can just click on it and go straight to his video. But until next week, thanks for watching.